forest garden greenhouse. We are at over 7,000 feet high in the Rocky Mountains at Jerome Austin Kowski's place. Jerome is the author of the forest garden greenhouse. This is an amazing design. It's near net zero energy in a high cold climate. And it's generating a Mediterranean and subtropical environment with almost no outside energy inputs. Here we've got pomegranates, absolutely beautiful and ripening. Here we've got citrus. Ha, look at that, the high Rocky Mountains. So the design is actually quite simple. There's a couple different things going on here. Here in the back of the greenhouse, during the summer, which is where we're at now, we're in August here, he has got these vines, looks like jasmine and grapes growing along uh, the top of the back of the greenhouse. And what this does is the sun is overhead, helps to shade the greenhouse. And then in the winter time, as that sun angle starts to slant and comes in, these leaves die back and this back wall has stones and other masonry that'll absorb that heat and then hold it in the winter time. Here are some water tanks also that have got some black on them to help absorb that winter heat in here. But the real, wow, look at these pomegranates. The real part of this design that is unique is this simple system where the warm air that's collected during the day comes down through these larger tubes. A fan is put on top, pulling that warm air down, and there's a series of pipes with holes in them that run through these beds and lets that warm air out, that warm moist air out into the soil, which acts as a a bank, you know, a climate battery for all that warm air and slowly releases it uh, during the night and allows this to stay subtropical. Look, this is, looks like a Suriname cherry right here. These are awesome. These are very delicious. Um, we've got uh, Lucaina. That's a nitrogen fixer right here in the middle of it. Looks like it needs to be cut back a bit. Uh, he's got perennial kale in here. Uh, this looks like chaya, another tropical edible green. Uh, he's got figs in here. He's got um, all kinds of kumquats and different citruses. And he's got these prickly pear cactus. Look at this fruit on this stuff. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. And you see all the stone walls he has in here. This is also holding the, the, the winter heat and the sun. It's mostly shaded now in the summertime. Uh, oh, there's a jujube. Look at that jujube tree right there. It's full of fruits too. Wow, well done, Jerome. This place is awesome. Highly recommend uh, his book, The Forest Garden Greenhouse, for all kinds of climates and all kinds of scales and designs. Looks like a little San Pedro cactus. Such a long